Morning, morning. Couldn't tell you guys why I'm up so early. Literally still dark outside. Morning guys, I'm going home and I will sleep there and whatever. I just knew I would feel a lot better if I actually prepped myself. And you're probably like, Brooke, explain. I am heading home. Today is the 22nd. I'm heading home for the holidays. It's a pretty quick trip home though because I'm home for the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, and then the 25th, home for a little bit. And then I leave, well, I guess it's not really like that short, but for me, I always picture like going home for the holidays, you do it for like a few weeks, you know? Not in my case, not this, not this year. Because then the 25th, I am turning around, going to the airport and going to Vegas for a few nights. Then I come back here for one night and then I go away upstate to a cabin for New Year's. So with three kind of like trips or like not being home for like almost like two weeks coming up and I just came back from another trip, I just needed to like outfit plan and pack efficiently. So I stayed up and I think I actually did a pretty good job. So pretty proud of myself. But with that being said, I need to leave here in about an hour or so. And I have a few more things I wanted to do. I really wanted to film a quick get ready with me on TikTok and just catch you guys up. I feel like I've been like really off my routine. I mean, I 100% have been because I've been away and just honestly, I've been having fun, which I'll, uh, you know, be fine with that. But I do want to somewhat these next few days, even though I'll be home on Long Island for the holidays, you know, still keep at it and vlog for you guys and take you around. It's fun. I'm going to be hosting some of my friends over my house tomorrow, like my friends from high school. So I figured I could take you guys around with that and just like the holidays in general. It's all really good stuff. My eyes are so puffy, like I said, I slept like literally two hours, but I felt like I naturally woke up at like 6.30 and I was like, I just have to get up because I know that if I fall back asleep, I'm not getting up. And I really just want to like get myself hacked and go home. I will be home all day. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. This is going to be some holiday days of my life. And my mom will be in this vlog, which I know you guys are excited about when we go home. There's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one, so buckle up. Okay, so this is my suitcase for Vegas and for home, but I really only need like an outfit for Christmas Eve because pretty much the rest of the time I'm home, I wear stuff like this, like just leggings and like a sweatshirt, which I think I have plenty of that at home. If not, I'm bringing leggings, so I should be fine. I'm bringing two potential outfits for Christmas that I have tangled on this piece that I need to bring in my car. I have some other stuff that I need to put in the car. It says it's only going to take me an hour to get home, which would be really ideal. And I'm leaving at 940. I guess this is what happens when you don't sleep and you stay up till like six. <gasps> Yay! I am listening also to Tori's podcast, Manifest. And I have my new, I'm so excited. I ordered it. She came out with a planner and I'm so excited to crack into it because it's all about like gold setting for like the new year and stuff. And I was like, if I have a second, maybe I'll do this. Probably not gonna have a second over the next few days, but like, I was um, thinking big, you know? Let's go home. My mom's on a work call, but I need to show you guys the updates to the house. They completely opened up this section. That's the Christmas table, by the way. But look how good it looks. I got pretty much all of my Christmas gifts for my family sent here so that I didn't have to transport them back from the city. This was PR from Kim Crawford, but I have like my mom's gifts here. I got my brother a tie yesterday at the Gucci outlet. I'll show you later. I need to organize all this. For the family, like $25 grab bag, I did these two. <laughs> this is the Snoop Dogg cookbook. And I saw it on like a lot of gift guides as like a good white elephant gift. This is like the one that's like a, you know, grab bag and you trade it around or whatever. And then I'm gonna do it with this avocado slicer because I figured this is like a handy tool to have. I have one and I like it. So that's my $25 grab bag gift. It was $10 for this and 15 for the book. I think I'm just gonna go run errands with my parents now because they're like, oh, we're headed out. And I was like, I'll come. I mean, I have no plans. That's what my time here is supposed to be, like just me hanging out with them. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go run some errands with my parents. And Sal went back to Connecticut today to do some stuff at school. So it's just me and my parents today. We're parked now downtown. My dad just ran in to get my mom a gift card. My mom's getting her nails done. I went to Trader Joe's. I'll do a haul as soon as I get home just of some things. I'm gonna make a cheese board for my friends tomorrow. And what else did I get? Just some like fun snacks and things. Good old Trader Joe's. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. Like I said, this party I'm having and just in general. I just thought that these looked very pretty. So got those. Some crunchy items. Pita bite crackers. We have fig and olive crisps. Pretzel thins. Now you'll see. 
I got some dips and other things too. These are just gonna be like put out just for some sweet things. I got the Scandinavian swimmers, the sour ones. They're so good. I've been really into sour candy recently. There are these things called sour strips. They sell them at Target. I got them once at Target and then they sent me them in PR. I've been addicted to them. I'm having like a renaissance with sour candy. But then I also got some almond butter cups just to put out. I was in the mood for seaweed, so I got two things of roasted seaweed. Then now this is the, sh the board ingredients and other stuff. Got two dips, hummus, roasted garlic hummus. It's so good. And then the truffle dip, which is also really good. Good with pretzels or crackers or whatever. But then I also couldn't pass up this. I got a lot of stuff, but my parents could also keep like whatever's not used. But we also have like eight people coming over tomorrow. So that's like kind of a lot. Unexpected cheddar cheese spread because this isn't in stock always. Oh, I forgot I got these ginger shots for myself. I was just like, I need to stay healthy. So I'm gonna take one of those now and one of them tomorrow. Produce, I got blackberries and I got these multicolored carrots, which I thought would be really pretty on the side. And also you could eat them with the hummus or any of the dips or whatever. So got these two for the produce options. I got, this is a really good, like just basic selection of meats, four cheeses, because like I said, we have a good amount of people coming. I got organic pepper jack, manchego, unexpected cheddar, even though I got the dip. Maybe I won't serve this. This will just be like for my house, but I'll serve this. Triple cream brie with wild mushrooms. I didn't see olives. They had olives like canned olives and stuff, but I really like the fresh olives from Trader Joe's, the ones that are in the refrigerator section. Couldn't find them, so I just settled on the Cornish shells. So it should be a pretty decent sized board with dips and stuff too. We're gonna like get pizza and whatever other stuff too, but just so that I can provide something. And then my mom asked me to get some mozzarella sticks, I think for Christmas Eve, just as like an appetizer when people first get here, we like to do like heated apps that just are like kind of out and about floating around. And that is my Trader Joe's haul. I fell asleep at six because I woke up so early the previous day. Fell asleep at literally 6.30 and slept until 8.30 this morning. I've never, I haven't done that in the longest time, but now we've been busy running errands. Oh gosh. I know, no, I look worse than you today. So let's, I don't want to hear it. Hi guys. This oh is the holiday God. errand running vlog that everybody loves these ones. They're very Why? fun. Because they're fun. It's like you get all the thrill of running errands without the, annoyance of doing it yourself. I got a spinach feta wrap. You got egg white bites. Yes, thank you. And I got my Irish cream cold brew. My mom got a venti iced coffee with soy milk. I went to Starbucks Cheers. during the week and Sal got an iced coffee. Wow. Sal is a little Sal. He's drinking coffee now. Yeah, it's like... He turns, it's, he turned 21. He turned 21 and just everything He's drinking changed. coffee now. When did you start drinking coffee? High school, like, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it was, did you drink coffee or did you drink... No. Like coffee drinks. I'm going to get a nice coffee at Duncan. Unpopular opinion. The Today Show. They did the top five, I think, yesterday Christmas songs. The beginning of the week or last week, they did the worst five Christmas songs. You have a big problem with this? I have a huge problem. Last Christmas was on it from Wham. Wow. Now that is just... Who made the list, though? I know. I cannot. Like... Seriously, seems... it sent me into a tizzy all like, day. Now I have to I was like, no, the show. I can't watch the Today Show anymore. Like, I can play that on repeat. That doesn't seem right. Well, what do you think we're on there? Dominic the donkey? No, there's one that you're gonna remember. Grandma got run over yeah. by the reindeer. That was on there, thank God, thank God. <laughs> I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. No, that's another one. I was like, where is that on? Why is that not on there? Santa baby. Worst? Yeah, like the Madonna one. I think this is just because of, it's not appropriate anymore. Uh, baby, it's cold outside. Oh yeah. It should be on that list, right? Yeah. Make a decision, where are you here? On the list was um, Mariah Carey. Oh, All I want for Christmas. Christmas? Is it best or worst? Worst, and then it was on the best. So I was like, guys, like, which is it? That's the number one Christmas song of all time, so clearly it's the best. Like, that, that's so... Who... Wait, was it the anchors that created the I list? I don't know. That's a very good question. Like, and even if it's experts. Experts in what? Christmas music? Get lost. I know. That's and, so stupid. And honestly, yeah. if there's going to be an expert in Christmas music, if I'm not on the panel, then we've <laughs> yes. got a big problem. One because... thing about my mom is that she loves Christmas music to the point that it's November 1, and, like, that's all she listens to. I try to change the channel, and she's like... No, like we, that's November all. 1st. That's uh, November. All my trips. Yeah. Like basically daddy's like. Losing his mind. Yes. He can't wait for me to get out of the car. Oh, our best worst song is on. Oh my gosh. Great song. Like there's maybe not one better. No, I'm serious. <laughs> no. Anyway, I have a side note. We'll talk to you later. I'm not buying ever again from Bath and Body Works.
yep. We'll have to get to that story next. I'm giving away a quick tip for everybody. If you like get that. these messages, you know, you signed up once to get a coupon code or whatever, and then you keep getting them. My phone is just filled with them. I get them from literally everybody, and I just, so now my brain doesn't even read me. them. But you could reply to pretty much every single one, stop, all caps, and then they reply, unsubscribed. You're unsubscribed. Love it. Yeah, because my mom was like, do I report this as junk? Like, what do I do? And it's just, it clears out if you're getting too many. Sal's the type to like, he's like, oh, it's a cologne. He's like so into cologne right now. He's into a lot of things right now. Yeah. He's a lot of passions, actually. Yeah, but so but they're random, and then I signed up for yeah. all these. No, but he he's into cologne, and he's like, don't get it on Sephora or Ulta. Get it from Fragrance Direct, and we're like... Fragrance mm -hmm. Net. I know. Like, that doesn't sound safe. All right, time to go to the card store. Okay. We just went to stop and shop. Wait, this is so funny, because I said in the vlog that yesterday, my mom's like, I need mozzarella sticks. When you say mozzarella sticks, don't you think of, like, the fried, like, breaded ones? It was. Ones? I was totally wrong. Yes, you're right. And yes. Well, thank you. No, I'm not even just saying it for that. So that's what I bought. And then. So she went to Trader Joe's. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're going to Trader Joe's? Get me. I need some mozzarella sticks. For appetizers. You literally said it like that. So I was like, oh yeah, like the appetizers. So really, I'm making, I'm taking pieces of the month of, of a string cheese. String yeah. cheese. And I'm rolling it with pizza Do dough. You have pizza and, dough? No, I'm going to buy it tomorrow. I want a fresh. From the pizza place? Yeah. They sell it? Pizza dough? Yeah. Of course. Every pizza place sells pizza dough. Wow, I, I didn't know you, you just go just to a pizza it. place and walk in and say, Can I, I'll have one pizza dough, two pizza dough. Wow. It's the way to do it. It's a game move. Okay. Wow. Thanks. Now we ran all those errands. Now you were like, Do you want to go on a treasure hunt? And I'm like, What does that entail? I want to serve a couple of different types of wine. I don't want to just have like four random bottles. I like when they kind of match. So this way, if you start to really enjoy what you're drinking, you could stay with it. Okay. I took some photos of like, for example, Honestly, I have, and I have no idea if these are good or bad. Chances are they were gifts. They could be really good or really bad. We're I was gonna go to like the local okay, local. Sure. We didn't get the exact type, but we got a type, so that's well, good. And then you know what I did? I got two of those. So at least I'll put out whatever, and then at mm. least there's two of each one. Great. I actually have a lot to do. I gotta prepare myself. I gotta wrap some gifts. You're gonna work out? I'm on the sauna. Oh yeah, we got a new sauna for that. I was off to show you guys that. Sal's really investing in his health and fitness journey, so he's been like suggesting things to get. It's literally it was my my present to daddy and daddy's present to myself. And then I looked at little Sal and I was like, somehow you've infringed my Christmas gifts this year. little store it is like a bookstore but they also have like just like a lot of like cooking stuff in general mostly my mom got me some gifts i got her one too i really want to get ready because i just like don't feel confident right now my mom woke me up this morning and was like let's go like let's run to the store now and we were out like all morning i'm wearing my skims pink shirt under this sweater by the way because it's getting colder by the minute but what i am doing right now is filling out my christmas cards for my family and then i need to get together my gift for secret santa tonight I need to prep for the Secret Santa tonight, so I need to like get all organized for that. I'm making um, some espresso martinis for my friends and a cheese board and stuff. Clean my room a little bit, just get a little organized, you know? But I feel really good that all of my errands are done, all my gifts are done. For Secret Santa, my friend Adriana and the gift that I got her, she is engaged. Her wedding is next year. I'm so excited. I got her this photo frame. It says Mr. and Mrs. And then I actually filled it with scratch off tickets. She said that she just wanted like gift cards cause she's like paying for a wedding and it's expensive and stuff. So I got her an Amazon gift card, this photo frame. It's very cute. I thought that was a good like gift. I wonder who had me, we'll see. And yeah, that's really my afternoon. Today's the 23rd, so it's like Christmas Eve Eve or whatever. I feel still so tired even though I slept for so many hours, which is odd. I think I like overslept, you know, but it, it did feel good in the moment to sleep that much. I do like a good like catch up day of sleeping where you just like sleep a ton, you know, and I feel like I haven't had one of those in a really long time. So, hey, okay. I did a lot of wrapping gifts and stuff and now it's time to get ready for the secret Santa that I have people coming over for in two hours and I still need to make the cheese board, espresso martinis. I'm working with a alcohol company that I am really excited because I get to make espresso martinis, my favorite drink. I've actually shockingly never tried this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream or Charlotte's Magic Cream. Everyone always talks about it and they say that they use it as a base for makeup too, but apparently it's just like a good 
moisturizer and I always need good moisturizers for winter because my skin is already super dry. So if I could find one that like actually helps with that. Cause I feel like I hate putting makeup on top of like crusty dry skin. Like it just doesn't go on well. But if you have a good base, you know, skin prep, we love to see it. I'm just gonna do some light makeup, nothing crazy. Pre pretty much just face, I think. Just in case we take a photo or something. But I'm just wearing this neutral sweater for now, but I think I might change into something more festive or whatever. I just added a few curls in my hair just to give it some life. Ben comes tomorrow. This vlog will end after today just because I feel like it's already pretty long. Yeah, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Ben's coming. I'm really excited. Christmas day, I'm flying to Vegas. <laughs> Chaotic. I think I might try to vlog a little bit in Vegas. We'll see what I end up getting done because then after that we go away for New Year's and it's just a lot of travel and I'm like, what am I gonna vlog like on these trips? But I also wanna live in the moment. So my parents got this new record player that I showed you guys downstairs and they are blasting music. I love this for them. It's so fun. Some lip balm while we go. So many people told me to try this polysporin for my skin because I use Neosporin in like, um, on like popped pimples or like things like this where they're like kind of still just like red and I want them to heal. And apparently the polysporin is like neosporin, but like on crack, like literally like just insane. And I have to say I've been using it and I do notice that they heal a lot faster. Those like picked over sort of spots, not even picked necessarily, but maybe like just, you know, they popped or they're, you know, whatever pimple patch. I got this at the drugstore and I do feel like it's working faster, which it's, you know, basically the same product, but I feel like it's working more, if that makes sense. Neosporin does a lot, but I feel like that I wake up the next day and I'm like, whoa, what happened to my skin? Boxes. The time my grandma walked into a pool at the, um, boxes. <laughs> oh no. And this is not bullshit. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> my dad just discovered reels and he's like, Pete. <laughs> He's living in like 2018 and he just discovered like short oh form God. video. It's so pure. It's very pure to see. Mom's putting out a dessert plate. We're setting up the cheese board. My mom is helping me a little bit. She's being very helpful. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yes, my mom made a gorgeous dessert board. She's just being so great. I mean, considering this is a party for my friends, you're helping me so much. This is such a good night. Yes, cut go. All right, and we're making drinks over here. We're using the Three Olives triple shot espresso and some Three Olives vodka. Got a cold brew, some beans, and simple syrup. It's a really simple recipe. I'm gonna post it eventually when I do the reel for them. So that is gonna be on there. So follow me on Instagram. All right, this was my secret Santa gift I need to show you guys. I just showered, so I'll show you me in a sec. I asked for board games and my friend Mayor had me and she delivered. We got pop culture charades. This is so cute, the cheese board deck. I'm obsessed. 50 cards for styling, spread savory and sweet. And then this, I am so excited because I actually got these, a set of these. They didn't come yet, they're a little delayed. But I got a set of these for my family for the holidays too. They're the vintage bookshelf version of games. So it's Scrabble, but like it looks pretty so I could keep it out in my apartment. I'm obsessed. And she made this card, guys. She literally hand drew this. She knows I love cheese, she's so sweet. I told her she needs to start selling these. Let me know if you guys would buy these. We need to hype her up. And she needs to start selling these like on Etsy, like customized cards. Cause she like drew all these and made it personalized. So cute. And she made me this ornament, look. Literally a photo of Danielle and I, how cute, and then GOTG on the back. And it's like glittery and pink, she's the cutest. And so crafty, I could never. I took a shower, I'm about to do my skincare. It was a success. The espresso martinis turned out delicious and I learned that the key to a good froth on the espresso martinis is an incredibly vigorous shake. You have to shake it so freaking hard. I was like doing it with my mom watching me and I was like, more? I have to shake it more? She was like, yes, you have to really keep going.